Okay, before I start today's Attract Mode Plus and Nintendo 64 setup guide for Windows PC, if you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide and it really helps out my channel too, for which I'm really always appreciative of. So we're doing Attract Mode Plus again today and we're doing Nintendo 64. Now I'm going to be using one of the best emulators out there for Nintendo 64 and this is Rosalys Mupon GUI. So we got a recent update of this emulator actually from two days ago as a recording this video. This is version 0.6.5. Now we've got several different versions here to download. I've downloaded the portable version of this. You can also download the Windows installable, but just for simplicity and this setup guides, we're just gonna get the portable of this. So I've already got Attract Mode set up, and if you're new to Attract Mode or Attract Mode Plus, check out my Attract Mode playlist, and I'll cover everything in there pretty much to get you up and running, including a particular layout, which I'm gonna be using today to make scraping artwork a lot easier. So anyways, what we're going to do first of all is go into the Attract Mode directory and I'm going to create a ROMs folder in here. So right click, New, ROMs and inside of this folder I'm going to create a new folder. So right click, New, Folder and call this one N64. If I go into that folder, I'm going to drag and drop a few N64 games inside. As you can see, these are in .z64 file extension and they're gonna work really well. Next thing we need to do is within the Tracks Mode directory, we've got emulators folder. Inside of this one, what we're going to do is actually extract the N64 emulator inside of here. So I'm gonna create another new folder in emulators folder and call this Mupun. Doesn't really matter what you call it, so long as the emulator itself is placed in there. So I'm going to press Ctrl and A, and that's going to highlight everything from that portable version of RMG. And I'm going to just drag it inside of that Mupin folder. Okay, so everything's now been extracted into that Mupin folder. What we can do now is delete the zip folder of RMG. And let's actually open up and configure some settings within this emulator itself before we import things into a trap mode. So RMG.exe. And Windows protected your PC, more info, and go to anyway. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just select ROM directory. So if I go down to select ROM directory just here, I need to find where my N64 games are. So, of course, they're on my desktop, and they're in my Attract Modes folder, and they're going to be in the ROMs folder I've just created inside the N64. In fact, I'm just going to left-click on that once and select folder. Here we go. So here's my games now displaying in Rose's Mupin GUI. Something else we need to do is make sure this emulator boots into full screen mode. Otherwise, when we launch games through a trap mode, they'll likely run in window mode, which is a little bit annoying. So to do this, what we're going to do is go to settings. And we're going to go over to the emulation tab just here. And right at the bottom just here, we're going to find automatically switch to full screen. On emulation start just make sure that one's checked whilst I'm in the emulation tab we're gonna find OpenGL type we're gonna leave this one to OpenGL if you experience a black screen try OpenGL ES but this one's gonna work fine for me so we're gonna go at the settings at the top just here and down to input and just here we can now start mapping out our controller so in the center here it says input device so if I drop this down I'm gonna select the Xbox controller I've got connected through Bluetooth and from here, I can now start mapping out my controller. So just left click on each one of these and then correspond it with the controller that you've got connected. And don't forget the left trigger and the R trigger. And of course the N64 controller has got some very bizarre layout of buttons. So just remember which buttons you're pressing here. And once you've done that, we can now go to hotkeys and we can actually make one of the buttons on the controller act as a hotkey. So it's going to close the game running through Rose's Moopin G1. So once we've done this, what we're going to do is go down to OK and OK. And that's it. So if I now boot up a game just to test this F0X. <laughs>
okay and i've just exited that game by using my left analog stick down and that's of course defined as the hotkey to exit games so as we can see everything's running and in settings we can also make sure graphics are to our specifications so if we go to video we got the option here of windowed resolution which we're not going to bother with we also got aspect ratio where we can actually stretch this to 16 by 9 but in most cases games are going to look pretty bad like that we also got anti-aliasing options so i'm going to pop on the middle option just here and i'm going to bump this slide up to around four times that's going to make games look a little bit better than what they do originally we also got anastrophic filter in here which is going to filter some textures to give them a bit more definition so again i'm going to scale this one up to around four times and that's it so i'm going to now go to save and close and now it's time to open up attract mode and start importing and what i'm going to do first was just go up one to emulators and from here i'm going to go to add emulator and i'm going to give this emulator a name i'm going to call it nintendo 64. if i then go down to executable and press enter i'm then going to press my windows key to come out and i'm going to look for that emulator's folder which is in my attract mode folder which is on my desktop so i need to find attract mode and here's my emulator's folder here's my mupin folder and if i just scroll down i'm going to right click on the emulator shortcut which is rmg.exe and i'm going to use copy as path if i then go back to attract mode just control and v is going to paste that in and just delete the quotation marks on this one Next thing, we're going to go down to working directory, press enter, and then come back out by pressing Windows key. This time, within the emulator's Mupin folder, what we're going to do is just go to the top, left click, and we're going to copy the location of that. If we go back to attract mode, control and V, and paste that one in. Next thing we're going to do is down to ROM paths. So I'm going to press enter on this one, backspace all of this, and again, press Windows key, and we're this time going to come out of the Mupin folder from Attract Mode. And we're going to go to ROMs. This is where our N64 games are. I'm going to go to the top. And again, left click on that directory. Copy. And back into Attract Mode. Control and V. And paste that in place. Now, the next thing of this is the ROM extensions. I'm not using .zip file extension. I'm actually using .z64. Next thing is system identifier. Press enter on this and we're going to type in Nintendo 64. Press enter. Info source scraper. I'm going to use the games database. Next thing we're going to do is go down to generate collection ROM list. Scrape artwork. Okay, and that's it. If we then press escape to come out. Okay, so this looks a little bit bland, so what I'm going to do is press tab. If I go to displays, Nintendo 64 is going to be here. Under layout, I'm going to use a very cool layout known as Arcade Flow. I actually uploaded a video on Arcade Flow yesterday. It's very awesome and it includes a scraper, which is better than Attract Mode Scraper. So if I press enter on this and then come out by pressing escape, and here we go. Since I've already used the scraper prior to this setup guide, I've already got the artwork here. But the good thing with Arcade Flow is that, as you've just seen very briefly then, it searches for updates. So it's regularly updated. Now, if you are new to this and you want to scrape your own artwork, all we need to do is press Enter. If I press Up, Scrape Selected Game, press Enter. And then we're going to go to press Open on this. As we can see, it's now looking at metadata and it's actually scraping us artwork. Now, as we know, we've already got artwork for this, but this is how you do it very briefly. And that's it pretty much. You just press escape then to come out of that. And like I say, if you like the look of this, then check out yesterday's Arcade Flow video. And that will pretty much show you everything else it does. Anyways... We're obviously in attract mode and we're going to boot up a game, see if this is all linked up correctly.
And that's it for today's Attract Mode Nintendo 64 setup guide for Windows PC. So like I said just a minute ago, if you do like the look of Arcade Flow, do check out yesterday's video. In that video, will show you more about that Arcade Flow layout. It's very awesome. I totally recommended it if you're an Attract Mode Plus user. Anyways, if you like the video today, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. Also, be sure to check out my Tracks Mode playlist. And just remember, I cover much more than a Tracks Mode, plenty of different front end systems. Join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.